Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again. This time around, we're going to be looking at Jackal versus Fizzmint. Just saw Fizzmint on the recording setup earlier, making his way through losers right now after losing to, it was uh, Karama, I think, up in winner's side. Meanwhile, Jackal Whoa. sent down to losers by Ludo, another Mario player. Lots of Mario this time. <laughs> they are, yes, for sure. It's been a takeover of the, of the pump right now that the move is coming out, for sure. Everybody <laughs> got powered up, and everyone is excited, but right now, we've got Wolf versus, uh, versus Shulk. Should be an intense battle, a battle of the swords, some would call it. You know how Wolf loves yep. to put those discord and hitboxes out, and of course, once you're in the, uh, in the blender, those snare comforts can be quite devastating. Yeah, and if, and if those snares hit, then that's a lot of damage that goes away of Fizzman, but so far it's been relatively even. Very back and forth stuff here, and the Buster coming out. This is potentially where the big momentum switch happens. Yes, lots of missed grabs from both of them, actually. There's a bit of spaghetti, but right now it is a perfect opportunity to do that grip. That smash for Nato. You know they all really need nothing. Came out of it, and right now Jack is trying to find a good opening, jumping very safely, trying to go for the hard points very early on. This is very dangerous percentage for both of them. Keep, uh, keep in mind that Monado Hard Smash could come up any second, and it could be devastating. But right now, there's a lot of damage coming. Yeah, this was a Fizzman at 120. Yeah, yeah, the rage was in effect, but it didn't end up mattering. This is going to be gone anyway. Not able to fully recover there is Jackal. Just barely coming short. Yeah, very unfortunate situation for the Wolf King. There we go. That stock back in place. Going back into somewhat a neutrality second, neutral second stop for both of them. Really no damage on each side. Remember, this is loser round five, so this is do or die for both of them. They're being extremely careful when it comes to picking their options. They respect their opponent quite a lot. Once again, we're getting very equal damage going into this next bit. A blaster to potentially open up, though, leads into a couple aerial chains here. Jackal looking really solid as it stands, but that jump guard allowing Fizz to get away. That aerial mobility can be clutch there. Yeah, Dark now comes out. That engages here, but the flash gets back to the same perfect. It's really well done. Yeah, Jackal was ready to keep that uh -oh. flip going. There is no hard read this time around, but every single hit that you get a must, must hit, just makes it worse for you. Forcing a jump from out of it still once again. Jackal not letting go of that oh, no. edge. Beautiful tilt to finally sweep that stock. And now, with a huge lead that will keep on rising considering how uh, those low percentage combos are working quite them. Yeah, that was a pretty immaculate <laughs> start, Jackal. I, I will. Th th that was just well played on all sides. You can't fault him for any of that, only taking 40% about. And now you're putting Fizz in a very compromising position. Oh, he's off stage, no jump card. It's not the air dodge. Yes, man. Jump is back. He can definitely find something off this, and he will. That's one of his favorite things to go for. The jump card up there is so clean, so flashy. And it will bring it to a last song scenario. Quite elegant as well, because it, it was very close in general. It was very good looking, appealing to the eye. Just like that, things could potentially come back now that Buster Art is out. He really needs to dish out, but Jackal, uh, dish out damage. Jackal uh, realizes oh this and just goes oh back a little bit, knowing that you cannot afford to get this much damage. Uh -oh. Another opportunity. Oh no! Great comeback from Fizzmint all the way back with Smash Bonato doing it once again. We got through that pretty good. Was it? <laughs> Comes back from out of nowhere. He clutches that. The how? I, I this character is amazing. This, like the, you cannot convince me. Shulk is not like easy top ten. Right. Perhaps top five. This character is busted. And you have to tap into Jackal's mind right now, where you were really comfortable with a sizable lead. You were almost two stocks ahead for at least a certain point. And uh, Jack, our business already brought it back to the That's the power of the Monado, right? You never know what's going to happen if they're going to be utilizing their tools to their maximum ability. If they do, they can bring it back and, and Fizzman just showed us how great opportunity to get something started. Ooh. Could have been the read of the ages, but unfortunately, 
just barely misses one. It barely misses. Almost certainly would have killed two. Like, smash start, 50%. You'd be surprised how early that kill. Jumphart's gonna come out very briefly. The shield art just makes sure that he doesn't get the contact going forward. Jack and Joseph is doing those. A little bit of a combo there. Carries a couple lasers. He's been practicing that. <laughs> also, letting Jackal know that this is not getting close. If you want to engage, you have to come Ooh. after me. And that's exactly what wolves do. Okay. They prowl, they go for the hunt. And that's exactly what allows Jackal to take this first stock. Another situation right. that Fizzman could take advantage of. Now that Smash and Tornado is out, but Jackal wants it none to do with that. Yeah, that's... Uh, that. You don't want to mess with that, especially not, at, not at the ledge like that. That forward air is extremely scary. It can hit you anywhere. It's you got to perfectly time whatever option you decide to go for. And uh, Jack is doing a really good job of getting around it. This has been very, very able to take this stock quickly, though, just like that. Oh, not enough yet. Still, though, Smash Art is active. Up B back to the just to make it last a little longer, but that'll do it at long last. Jump art option. Listen, but that was kind of risky. Like, you, you almost fell for the wolf flash, and that could have been the stock, right? You really don't want to risk the stock at this point. I know that Fizz oh is thriving off of this aggression and the pressure that he's putting onto Jackal, but you have to be very wary that Wolf can just bring it back in matters of seconds. The jab. Just, just like this. Not the, not the show jab, yeah, bro. Are we really seeing that used as an option it against works. Jackal? It works. If, I mean, if it works, we take those, but dead. All right, speed arc is coming out now. Very even hit. Head, but the tilt. forward tilt, man. So well done. Play be sure to take advantage of that little instance uh, of, uh, you know, uh, if this seemed out of, out of place, you know? Like, Jackal, we don't usually get them, uh, see them cornered up like, like, so, like what we're seeing right now. And this is really forcing Jackal to get in over this long time. He has much more to lose uh, if they make a mistake. Last stop for both of them in this second uh -oh. game. And uh -oh. not looking pretty for the Wolf. Very winnable for both sides right now. 44% though. It's been a very dominant stock just now for this minute, and that's gonna do it! No, it's not quite yet. It gets really close, but it won't quite steal that stock away. Oh, but a misinput at ledge, and Jackal's gonna lose game two as well. Basement is on the verge of moving on and eliminating Jackal from this tournament. Adding that to the list of ridiculous upsets he's already got so far. Okay, so Fisman has had some magic coming up right there on the last stop. Unfortunately, I mean, he's still got the dub, right? Which ultimately is what matters. We get the W. Yeah, not quite the clip, but at least he gets one more game on his favor. This is last opportunity for Jackal Three, to bring two, this around one, Pokemon Stadium go, to the the destination for us to enjoy this potential last game gets their please take away. Can these guys please pick a song that's not Lunia City? Like seriously, you have so many better options on PS2. You could go with Route 10, you could go with Route 10, you could go with Route I really like Route 10. Okay, I yeah, noted. Yeah, I've noticed. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been on Lumios all weekend. It's driving me batty. Listen, 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 listen. Jackal trying to go for the, the swipe, knowing that he can get the two frame he needs to bring as much of a lead as possible. It's not only in terms of something, but also the mentality. Because feeling all this pressure on great crap, all this pressure gets up, and it can be very daunting towards your execution sometimes. So you really have to get back to your mind. Now that Buster is out, you really need to keep away from those distractions. Yep, Fizz is at 130% right now. This is uh, a very doable uh, situation. Take this stock pretty quickly if a Smash Art connects. Unfortunately for him, it will not. 40% is all that Jack will take on that first stock. He's playing very well though. So oh! And they still managed to recover. That low percentage definitely had something to do with that. Very yep. unfortunate because Fisman had some something great going on. That spike could have been amazing in order to break this uh, the disadvantage that he currently holds. But right now, Jackal is running around knowing that he can just throw any hitbox and it will most likely connect considering how accurate Jackal has been in this uh, for sure. Man, Jackal is doing so well to play around the speed arc. Like just knowing when to engage to fight the 
very sudden momentum shift of the characters involved is so well done. And right now he's at a pretty commanding lead. The damage has been more than last at this point. It's not looking good for Fizz, but he does not connect with that up smash. The up B to punish and will not kill, but it puts Fizz in a pretty solid position to take the stock. And a disadvantage with that forward air is huge. That echo is gonna do it. The rage plus smash right, he'll be gone. Yeah, finally taking that first stock with the, the differentials and deficit in the which currently stands is undeniable. He's a one hit away, a good hit away from just losing that second stock already. Jackal being very patient and force fading back knowing that one single mistake could lead to some tragic numbers, especially once uh, uh, Fizz can get uh, gets that buff. Why is he still not dead? He's at 179, popping the shield arch. Make sure he stays safe off the ledge here. No big deal. 190 with the jump arch to get back, but the down tilt is going to be enough to get him during that ledge hang. And now Jackal with a pretty tremendous lead. Oh, that will go for the early percent. Combos, nothing happens. Jackal letting go, knowing that uh, he doesn't need to overcommit that much. The lead is there. Cold stock, actually. And he's making all the right decisions. No every single right choice has been taken by Jackal. Jackal, because every time they interact, it's in his favor. For the most part, even the trains are going to be Now the Buster is out. Well, that's going to be a double-edged sword. Careful here, because you're stuck at the ledge. You see that Jackal is ready to go to the end of the one, two, five-ish now. We have Estro and yeah, Fizz is in trouble. He needs a little bit of a miracle, and that is the first step of it. He finally gets that stock out of the way, popping the shield to make sure he doesn't die during Wolf's invisibility frames, but now he's got a lot to work on, and he needs his Buster on find value. At this point, you don't care too much if you take more damage. Right. You can just kind of wait out the whole duration. Yep. You just have to be really careful whenever you inevitably pop the smash card, but it won't happen this time around. Jackal is going to take game three for the really well placed up. Oh, Scoop is scooping them out from so far away, actually, with that up smash. Hitting from the back definitely paid off. Jackal seems to have a change of mind. The mindset really showed up there. We're moving over to town and city. And this could very well work in uh, Jackal's favor as well. Because he was actually playing a little bit on the on his back foot, you know? Like he was waiting out, waiting for uh, Fizzman to make an option to choose uh, and punish accordingly, which is definitely going to continue that trend in town and city and maybe even take Three, off soon. Two, one, we'll see go. what happens here, but I will say I do see Fizz going for a lot of kills off the side on this stage because obviously the yeah, yeah. blast zones are really thin too. So like, if you can get off the stage, catch somebody off guard with like a forward air, even without smash guard, they might just be dead. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Right now we're seeing a little bit of patience, a lot of patience actually from both of them knowing that a fix can change in matters of second six to the Monado. Careful, oh, this uh -oh. could be it. No, the jump still there, but the oh my god. from Jackal, I'm telling Gordon. you. He's going for the high aggression. No punish on the return. You just gotta give it up for Fizzman trying to get that spice. He's got it before. Why not try him again? He's playing mad aggressive, yep. and that, that is something I can appreciate, you know? This character, like, Shulk is a very momentum based character. The different arts that you enter completely fundamentally change how you should be playing the game, right? Speed art, you can play aggressive. Smash art, you gotta be playing aggressive. But, like, those defensive arts, like, I would argue Jump is rather defensive. Like, getting back to stage is very important. Getting over to reposition is very important. And then, obviously, shield. Good stock taken by the way. Just dead. And now, speed is looking to... Uh, it's looking to run out here. The Buster could potentially change this game entirely. Oh, yeah, he definitely could. But uh, Fizzman needs to be very careful. This is exactly what Jackal wants you. He wants you to get to the back wheel. Just a little bit, just enough. So that he can go for the hyper-aggressive option. Well. Just fares, no factor still. That stock is leaving. Great recovery from Fizzman. Oh. Really good. Almost getting on the cliff oh there. Unfortunately, oh, that's going to be. Stop. Yeah, he didn't mess up. 
Very possible, but I think I think Fizz wants to say something about that real quick. Okay? This is a very fragile stock for Jackal, especially considering he's up against the Shulk. Yes. If any if any good aerial hits while he's got that smash art enabled, this is a one stock piece game. So he's gotta be so careful, but Jackal, I think they need just the right moment. Doing it exactly nice. when he has to. Getting the trap. What, what a read on that roll. And the bear on that jump board. Oh, this is looking really good now for Jackal. Flash to get back. Really, good. really well spaced to make sure he doesn't get hit by that forward air. He's not able to finish that one. Flash is going out. Connect. Good forward air to get back. But oh, you need a miracle right now, Fizz. And that, is, and that is the shield Monado saving him from that up air still not being able to concrete that last stock. Jackal is definitely putting forth the insane aggression. This could be in. How are you going to recover? Take advantage of the jump, but a tilt, a, a kick Ooh. right to the chin is going to allow Jackal to break with the game. Five, you Jackal bequeaths to Fizzment a boot to the head. Yes. Lots of damage. Shout out to that comedy skit. I don't even know what that actual skit was. Okay. I remember seeing like an Ace Attorney animated thing <laughs> with like that over it, and I never oh, found the original oh, audio, and it made me sad. But like that's <laughs> still a classic. I don't care. Right. Okay. It's a banger. Oh, some uh, someday we'll find it again. Uh, yeah. But now we are going into our next last small battle of this set. One, I love small battles. I, I do enjoy the fact that uh, these competitors are going to opt for a little bit of a more close quarter, uh, close quarter combat, which, let's be honest, it works very well for both of them. Yeah. At all points, you see that they are taking all the right options when it comes to winning or trying to suffer the opponent. And uh, I love to see that uh, on this one. You know, like that Buster, Buster footwork that he's been doing so far has been absolutely good. A rare only shielding the flasher from Fizzman. Wow, another one. That's crazy. Either way, the speed art not gonna find a lot of value that quickly. Jump. Gonna be swapping over to the jump. Certainly. But she just gets back a little bit too slowly. If that first slash had maybe grabbed up the ledge, I think he might have been fine. But other than that, yeah, that was a little bit rough. And now Fizz down a couple hearts. He has the speed, but Jackal knows exactly how to play around this. Under the platform, on the other side of the platform. Super hard to approach him there, even with the speed art. That back to a good mean couple for Jack. Now we gotta give it up for uh, for Jack. Wait at the right time. Oh, jump! Live that stock with just like that. Fizz brings it back from all across the stage with a stage for uh, not for not a hard. It's not looking, it's not looking impossible. It's like a, it's gonna be a very close five for both. This is real tight right now. A difference of 45 percent. Oh, it gets a little bit larger though. Jackal finding an opening here. 60% and building now. It's not looking amazing for Fizz, but if any character turn it around, like I've said several times now, it is so, so capable of bringing back damage leads with speed art engagements, buster combos. Just this guy, this character is really strong, as it turns out. Oh my. Not gonna make the game changer. You know, something that I've noticed in that series is that we're not seeing a lot of scary from uh like you could play a lot of the ground game for uh Jackal to land, and that's causing him a little bit because Jackal is playing a lot of the air. You can see exactly with that back there how good how effective he is at taking stocks in the air as every kid well, should. And that is costing him just a little bit low percent. Low percent combos are gonna be just enough to get that stuff started, but just a couple hits more, and you are already out of way there to the last off. 54 to 58 right now, it is looking real dire for Kismet after having taken the first two games of this set. He does not want to get reverse swept here, but Jackal really doesn't care what Kismet wants. 112 Buster Art is out. It's so risky going for this, but you kind of have to. The shield art to get back. Good grab from Jackal. Positioning there, just reading that roll perfectly. It looks worse by the moment for the Monado boy from Eastern Washington. Once again, Jackal is doing phenomenal. Just waiting for okay. the option that our business is going to take and punishing accordingly. Those grabs have been on point. This could be 
the last instances of Fisk in this tournament. The no slouch is doing so well in bracket. Trying to get no his way. There's no oh. way. Okay, no spike, but still the wolf flash ceiling to deal with the incredible reverse deal. That was an amazing display for Jackal in order to keep on moving. An amazing bracket. display from yep. Jackal indeed to continue his run alive here. Fizzman unfortunately going to be falling here in, I believe, what is it, like 30, 17th, 33rd place? 17th, 17th place for Fizzman. Not a bad run at all with some major upsets along the way. I had to do it. I apologize. I apologize. That's it. Stop the recording. That's it.